Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got one from Funk Brewing. And these guys are out of Pennsylvania. Enrico sent me this one. It says here on the bottom, canned on June 8th of 2016. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to start off by telling you guys, a lot of times when I type in these uh, breweries and, and, and names of the beers, you need a rate beer or beer advocate. It doesn't return anything or go somewhere off the frickin' wall somewhere. And then I have my subscribers say, oh, I'm surprised you couldn't find it. Here it is. And they give me the link and here it is. I don't jump through hoops to find the frickin' beers, guys. And when I go in and I type in Funk Brewing, and it doesn't return anything. And then I type in Funk Brewing Citrus IPA, and it doesn't return anything. I don't, that's it. You're done. Uh, I don't jump through hoops to find this shit. Uh, just want to tell you guys that, and I appreciate the links you do send, but it's kind of irrelevant after the beer has been uh, reviewed. So uh, I should be able to go right in and type it on either side, Funk Brewing Citrus IPA, in order to return this beer, and it does not on uh, on Beer Advocate. I mean on Rate Beer. Uh, they go into Funky Buddha Brewing instead of Funk Brewing, and, and Funky Buddha is out of uh, Florida, or these guys out of Pennsylvania. So I. I don't jump through hoops to find the beers. Uh, if I type it in a couple, two, three times, different names, and I can't find it, they're on the hind titties for it, I'm concerned. It ought to be listed when I type in Funk Brewing Citrus IPA, and it's not. So, they're out. Uh, let's get on with this one. My eye's still bugging me today. So, uh, this ought to be a very tasty treat that uh, Rico sends me some awesome beers. Rico, you are the man. You are a great beer enthusiast, craft beer enthusiast, and I appreciate everything you sent to me, my brother. Uh, so, uh, we got Funky Buddha on Rape Beer, so Rape Beer is out of the picture on this on this review, guys, and, and I'm sure somebody's going to send me a link where it can be found somewhere, but that's just tough shit. Uh, when I type in the name and it doesn't return anything or return some other brewery, I only do it about two or three times and can't find it, they're out. So, with this one, uh, this right here is a IPA, and it is, according to what the can says, is 7% alcohol. Uh, it says, do not age, drink fresh. And I agree with that saying 100%, especially on an IPA. And since this was done on, on 6 8 16, I'm reviewing this on July the 9th. So it's right at one month old. It ought to be very, very tasty. And I've had some stuff uh, sent to me uh, uh, from uh, Funk Brewing, and uh, don't know why they're not listed, uh, and, you know, or why you have to jump through hoops to find them. It's just crazy, guys. It is. But anyway, we're going to get on with this, and like I said, my eyes still bugging me, so we're not going to make this a long review. And it's got a huge commercial uh, description, which I am not going to read on this one. Uh, so. We'll go right over to the food pairings, and as your typical IPA food pairing, cuisine is curried in a tie. The cheeses are pepper Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, gorgonzola, limburger, and the meat for this is going to be poultry fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I will add grilled meat to that. Do not sell this beer. Glass right, pint back or not, tumbler, mug, stein, sidel. I'm going to use my favorite tulip glass, the sovereign beer glass. Whoa, look at the head here. What she said. This is fairly carbonated now, guys. Be easy on your pour. 
This is a little 12 ounce can, so I'm hoping to get it all in here, but we're going to get a big three or four fingers of head on this easy pour. A little bit on the heavy carbonated side. Funk Brewing Citrus IPA. Yeah, about two fingers of head on that. Got it all in the glass. Nice orange tangerine color. Very good looking IPA. Let's get a nose on it. Very citrusy. I mean, it is a very citrusy. I mean, oranges and grapefruit. Very citrusy. A little bit of pininess in there. And a lot of tropical fruit notes in there. Mango, apples, pears. Wonderful smelling beer. Great smelling beer. Mmm. Very nice smelling beer, I mean. Very reminiscent of a West Coast style to me, guys. These East, East Coast guys have uh, stepped up to the plate. They definitely kicked it up a notch and they're pouring the hops in now. There's, uh, to me, guys, there are just as many great beers coming out of the, uh, off the East Coast now and, and New England uh, and uh, as they are on the West Coast now. They, they figured it out. They, they, they stepped up to the plate. Very nice smelling. Let's taste it. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Oh yeah, that's very tasty. And guys, when I get when I get something sent to me like this, and it's exceptionally well bearded, and it's got the date on the bottom of the bottle, or on the bottle, or on the bottom of the can. That's a win-win for us, win-win from them. We're drinking fresh beer. Uh, we know when it was put in a can. It's, it's, it's all good when we have that information. We'd like to see the IBUs on the can. It's not there, but two out of three ain't too bad. The date is the critical thing in the ABV. As long as we can get those two things on the can, we'll manage the other one. delicious. That's very tasty. Very, very citrusy. A very appropriate day for this beer. Citrus IPA. I'm getting the citrusiness from the oranges and the grapefruit. Very nice. Well, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and sip on it for a little while, see what it ends up. I'm impressed. I mean, like I said, I've had a couple from Funk Brewery and they, uh, they do some tasty stuff and they are, uh, up to the plate as far as I'm concerned by putting the date on each individual can. So what's going to happen guys? we got to have everybody doing this. Everybody. I'm going to keep fussing about it until we do. It's my job. Got to do it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it about 20 minutes or so. Very tasty. I did find it on Rake Beer. Oh, man, you got to jump the hoops a lot of times to find this shit on the down. It shouldn't be this hard. It really, really shouldn't. But I did find it. Uh, it's got it there. So, uh, very tasty beer. Excellent beer. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Especially since it has a date on the bottom of the can. We know how fresh the beer is. That's the key to buying and, and uh, uh, drinking craft beers. Uh, especially when you don't, they're not in your area and you, you don't know. How old the beer is, basically. Uh, do you, would you go in the store and buy a loaf of bread that was six months old or a gallon of milk? Should be the same way on beers, guys, especially the low ABV and uh, IPAs. Uh, we should have that date on there. And I hate to say it, maybe we need a law. We, like, hey, we don't, you know, we, we got millions of laws on the books now, but these guys need to realize how important that is. And the ones that don't or don't care, we shouldn't buy the beer. We should just let them set. And let them go out of business. Even if they're making great beers, they need to have a date on the bottom of it. Just my opinion. I don't judge. Delicious. Excellent citrus IPA. Very, very nice. Very well done. Definitely an A beer to me, guys. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me on this one. Uh, numeric rating for me would probably be a 97, maybe even a 98 since it has a date on the bottom of it. 
very tasty, very, very nice uh, IPA. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate, they say 90 in the Outstanding Range, so another A there. And over to uh, Rate Beer, which I finally did find on their site. Lord have mercy, they're, they're a mess. Uh, says overall 94 and 92 in the style. So we got a 90 and 94 and 97 or 98 for me since it has a date. I'm, I'm going to give it to 98. It's got a date on the bottom of it. And it's a very tasty beer. And it's a month old. It's a very fresh beer to me. I can't get beers in my grocery store this fresh. Sad. Your distribution in Virginia is horrible. Those guys, those guys that distribute beer in Virginia got their head up their ass, so I'm not concerned. So, Rico, thanks again, my brother, for sending me this beer. Very nice. Very well done. Uh, if you've had this one from Funk Brewery, they're out of Pennsylvania. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know what the distribution is. Not seen it here in Virginia. Might have come to northern Virginia, but uh, not seen it here in this part of Virginia where I'm at. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something tasty out of the fridge. See you then.